Party and the Unity Party, which Ellen Johnson shall inherit, we have come together and we are now all one political party. We have decided that by coming together, we will be stronger. By coming together, we will exhibit to the rest of the Liberian people who are not particularly involved in politics that it is possible for Liberians to be united. It is a shame, my friends, my fellow citizens, that a country with barely 3.5 million people has 23 political parties. That's evidence of this unity. There can be no better evidence of this unity. And we decided that that is not Nigeria. So three of us have come together, we now have one political party. Amen. And we are urging the other 20. If you see values that somebody else has, go there, join them, and become one. Because politics should not be about individuals. Politics should be first about our country, values, and ideology. If you believe in something, mm -hmm. and another political party believes that that's the same thing to be done for Liberia, there is no reason why you can't come together. Mm -hmm. I was a candidate for president of Liberia in the 2005 election. Huh. But I've seen good things happening to my country. Mm -hmm. The question that was posed to me by myself, do you sit down supinely and do nothing? Do you just criticize and try to destroy good things? Or do you join forces with good things so that better things will happen to Liberia? Yes. I chose the term to join forces with goodness so that better things will happen to our country. Yes. Amen? Yes. Putting my personal ambition aside, putting my egos aside. Mm -hmm. Some people call it manhood, putting it aside. Yeah. And say, for the sake of country, yes. for the sake of our future. Let us come together and thank God we are today. I'm in Philadelphia to have discussions with members of the Unity Party who are in this area, in the Delaware Valley area, to tell them about the great transformation that's going on in our country, our hopes for Liberia, and our plans for our country. But I know it is not only partisans can cause us to win elections. It's the entire Liberian population that can make it possible. And what other place to find Liberians on a Sunday than in their churches? Mm -hmm. So we'll be going from church to church, just visiting, talking to all the parishioners, to the congregation, and making them aware that today Liberia has a very strong political party, the New United Party. Yes. They are all strong political parties, but we believe that we are the strongest of them. We've come to talk to Liberians, to tell you, in fact, to remind you that this place called United States may be home, but your real home is in that little place called Liberia. If your neighbor's street is not very there, and when I see the faces of you, most of you guys are neighbor strings very there. But if your neighbor's street is not very there, you are still welcome because that's home for you. When this country no longer needs you, when it rejects you because you are too old and say you are now retired, you are welcome to the Republic of Liberia, your original home. And even when you prosper here, you can enjoy your prosperity better in the Republic of Liberia. Do you know what it feels like to walk out of your house? down the street and somebody will say good morning Councilor Shepherd 
how you doing today? Yes. Don't do it to you. I know it because I had a home in the land and two of them are walk outside and the most of them is high. 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 Do you know what it's high to? At least in your home, you will say, good morning. How are you doing today? And how is the family? It is such a wonderful feeling to be recognized and no better place to be recognized than the Republic of Liberia. Be involved with us. I implore you. Get engaged with us. I beg you. We need you and we need your assistance. But I keep telling Liberians, our country should be looked at like a cassette recorder. If you are too young, you probably wouldn't know about a CD. But think about a cassette recorder. Momentarily, our country will on our stop. We will be on stop for so long. Then something happened to our country. We be put out of play. We are playing now. For 2011, if we make a mistake, we we'll go on pause. We we'll go on pause. And when we go on pause, we either go back to stop or we'll go to rewind. Please don't let us go to pause. Today, we have a government that has shown its capacity to attract investments from the international community. A government that has the absolute goodwill of the international community. We are asking that the gains that we have made be consolidated for a better future for the transformation of the Republic of Liberia. If we make a mistake, then put a stranger, one who is not known by the international community, everybody will pause and look at us, trying to find out where we're going. The time it will take for them to make a determination whether to re-engage us is precious time that I direct another for. So, I beg you, remain engaged with us. And one way to remain engaged with us is to remember that in Liberia, all of you here have been a factors. It may mean so little to you, but every time you go to Western Union or Money Grand and spend send fifty dollars on, send one hundred dollars on, send one hundred fifty dollars on, that money sustained us for a long time in Liberia. It was small for each of you, but together, some years it was twelve million, sometimes fifteen million, and it sustained us because the money was spent in the economy and it had positive ripple effect on the entire economy of Liberia. Yeah. So you have benefactors in Liberia. Take the telephone. Because cell phone all over the republic. <laughs> Call. Tell people where you stand and where you hope for Liberia. Because if you tell them, they will do as you suggest and they might tell their friends. Let us keep Liberia on the trajectory of change. And each of you here can do that. And one of the places that this country has shown it can be done effectively is in the churches. Don't forget about your home. Thank you very much. And God bless you. Ladies and gentlemen, in the name of God, let us put our hands together and welcome on the stage our ambassador, this excellent <laughs> service. I was quite uh, moved by the preaching of your uh, pastor. And I see why he has such a vibrant 
congregation because he's a dynamic uh, preacher. <laughs> We are here this morning to join Councillor Vani Sherman, Chairman, National Chairman of the Unity Party in Liberia. As you know, Unity Party, he referred to it as the new Unity Party, indeed it is, since we have three major parties that have come together with a common objective, a common commitment to the reconstruction and development of our country after years of civil crisis. And uh, as you know, LAP was headed and founded really by a number of important and prominent Liberians, including the late Jackson Fiat Doe and uh, William Poller of the Liberian Unification Party, and of course, Mr. Bier Kessely of the Unity Party. Today, we have one party, Unity Party. This party, under the leadership of President Ellen Johnson Sirleaf, is committed to the reconstruction and the development of our country after years of war. But more importantly, because of the programs that have been undertaken by the government through its poverty reduction strategy based on four principal pillars. Pillar one, security sector reform. Pillar two, economic revitalization. Pillar three, uh, democracy and respect for the rule of law. And pillar four, the provision of basic services to the Liberian people. This has been embraced by the international community, and today you have widespread support accorded the government because of these policies that have been undertaken. On uh, last night, Councillor Sherman indicated some of the changes that have come about the debt forgiveness at the World Bank and IMF of over $4.7 billion. You have uh, debt forgiveness by the Paris Club, the London Club, and all of these international entities that Liberia was indebted to. So with the waiver of this debt, there's additional opportunities for the government down to use money that we would have had to, use, to pay debt with for development purposes. My fellow Liberians, I know you all have been here for quite some time and, and, and you, you, are, you want to conclude this service to, to go on to your other pursuits. But we are very pleased that we can be here with you and to recommend that you continue, even though you are thousands of miles away, to continue to identify with our beloved country, Liberia. For many of us, it's the only country we have, and I dare say it's the only country that we truly love. So do all that you can to help institute and promote change in the country. And this can be done, as uh, Councillor Sherman suggested, through your contacts with your fellow Liberians at home. It is better there is a common American saying that if it is not broken, don't fix it. So we, we hope that we can all continue to work together in the interest of our country. And from the standpoint of the Embassy of Liberia, I want to assure you that the Embassy doors are open. Feel free at any time to come to the Embassy or to contact us if you have any needs or concerns. We are there to help you. I'm happy to be here, and I wish you God's continued blessings. Thank you. Thank you.